The wolf is a wild animal of prey. Description and photo of the common wolf Everyone remembers the tale of the gray wolf, which we were told as children. So who is actually a wolf? An image from the fairy tale or a dangerous animal? The common wolf is a large predator of the canine family. The gray wolf is the master of the tundra and taiga, a hardy and very intelligent animal. In this article you will find a description and photos of the wolf, learn a lot of interesting things about the harsh life of this formidable predator. Externally, the common gray wolf looks very much like a dog, which is not surprising because these animals have common ancestors. However, the wolf looks significantly larger. Wolf body length can reach 110 to 160 centimeters, the tail length up to 52 centimeters, Height at withers ranges from 60 to 90 centimeters, and body weight of this wild predator can reach up to 80 kilograms. There were cases when the weight of individual wolves exceeded 92 kilograms. The average weight of wolves ranges from 30 to 65 kilograms. The size and weight of wolves depend on geographic location. The colder the climate, the larger the animal. Males are always larger than females. Animal wolf has a thick, fairly long and warm fur, which consists of two layers, in connection with this wolf looks larger. The first layer of wolf fur is tougher and protects against dirt. The second is a waterproof undercoat, which protects the wolf from the cold and various extremes of nature. The gray wolf animal is very hardy. The wolf looks menacing and dangerous beast, has a strong muscular body, tall strong paws, and a large broad-bellied head with sharp ears. The wolf's elongated and large muzzle with dark stripes is matched by almost white cheeks and light spots in the eye area. The wolf's massive muzzle is also very expressive. The tail of the gray wolf is quite long and is usually downward. Its movement and position allow us to judge about the predator's mood. The wolf has a completely different coloration, depending on the habitat. In the forests it is gray-brown in color. In the tundra it is lighter, almost white. In the desert, it is grayish-reddish. There are even white individuals, which are found in the Arctic, as well as red or almost black. The undercoat of the beast is always gray. What is the difference between a wolf and a dog? The common wolf differs from the dog not only externally, but also by its tracks. The gray wolf's tracks are flatter than those of dogs and form an almost straight line. Also the wolf has a different length of trace, which is 9 to 11 centimeters and 6 to 7 centimeters wide, in wolf it is 7 to 9 centimeters and 5 to 6 centimeters. The wolf's two middle toes are more forward, the toes are not spread out and form a much more embossed footprint than in a dog. Where do wolves live? The wolf is an animal that is the most common terrestrial predator. This wild animal has a wide range of habitat. The wolf lives mostly in cold countries and in a variety of landscapes. In forests, prairies, deserts, taiga, tundra, forest steppe and at the foot of mountains. Wolves inhabit many parts of Europe from Russia to Portugal, Asia, from Korea to Georgia, and North America from Alaska to Mexico. Larger wolves inhabit the tundra and smaller wolves inhabit the southern regions. Curiously, in Russia the wolf is absent only on Sakhalin Island. The wolf is a territorial animal. Wolf packs live in conquered areas, the borders of which are marked with tags. In summer, when the wolf pack disintegrates, the occupied territory is divided into several plots. The best one is occupied by the main pair, and the rest of the wolves switch to a nomadic lifestyle. How do wolves live? The wolf is a social animal. Therefore, wolves live in packs, they hunt, play and even hull together. A wolf pack is a family group that consists of animals of different ages and can number from 3 to 40 individuals. The pack is led by the pack leader or the pack master, which is the dominant male wolf. It is the smartest, wisest and strongest male in the wolf pack. 
the pack leader has a girlfriend, the dominant female. Together they form a pair, thereby uniting other wolves around themselves, which is the wolf pack. A wolf pack has its own hierarchy. The leader of the pack has unquestionable authority. He is a wise leader, and he is friendly to all members of the pack. But a wolf meets strangers aggressively. There is often a beta male in the pack, the most likely successor to the leader. Usually it is a common son of the leading pair or a brother of the leading male. Applicant for the position of the pack leader periodically demonstrates aggression to the alpha male, as if checking his status, since he is ready to take his place at any moment. Wolves live their lives relying on their feelings. They use these feelings to hunt and communicate with other wolves. The animal's excellent hearing allows them to hear a howling wolf seven kilometers away. Their sense of smell is 100 times stronger than that of humans. The gray wolf is able to run at a speed of 55 kilometers per hour. Wolves live in packs and each pack has its own hunting area, which animals carefully guard from other wolves. In a pack where the leader keeps order, wolves live peacefully and do not fight. Skirmishes occur with strangers and lone wolves who have violated the boundary of the area. Each wolf pack has its own territory and hunts only in it. A wolf that has left the pack on its own or has been driven away is called a lone wolf. Such animals have every chance to create their own pack. The owners carefully guard and mark their territory, leaving scratches on fallen trees or old stumps. In this way, they show them that it's better to stay away. Uninvited guests are punished, such are the brutal laws of the wolf pack. Wolf howls heard around are a way to signal that the territory is already occupied. The size of the common wolf family territory depends on the landscape and varies from 50 to 1,500 square kilometers. The survival of the pack depends on the size of its hunting grounds, so wolves protect them carefully. If there is more than enough food on a family hunting ground, several generations of wolves will live in the same area. The largest hunting grounds of wolves are found in open landscapes of tundra and steppe and amount to 1,000 to 1,250 square kilometers. In the forest zone they are much smaller, 200 to 250 square kilometers. When wolves do not have young cubs, they roam. Wolves wander both in packs and alone. As a result of wandering, animals sometimes appear in areas where wolves have not been seen for several years. During a night, wolves travel up to 70 kilometers in a single night. Gray wolves gather in packs in winter. If the snow is deep, wolves in a pack march in single file. Each animal follows one another, treading on the same trail wherever possible. The wolf is very cunning. Therefore, it is very difficult to know from the tracks how many wolves are in the pack. Why do wolves howl? Wolves howl because howling is their way of communicating with each other. With the help of howling wolves find out where their family members are, announce the capture of prey and capture of territory, or just to communicate with kin. Wolves usually howl in the late evening hours. Throughout the year, wolves howl most often in winter, when the number of pack members reaches its maximum. Wolves begin to howl more actively towards the end of summer and with the beginning of fall, and when pups lead the development of the family area and begin to move its territory. What does the wolf eat and how does it hunt? The wolf is an undemanding predator. The wolf's main diet includes large ungulates, deer, elk, saiga, sheep and goats. But the wolf also eats hares, various rodents and birds, because he is undemanding. Sometimes wolves can eat dead pack members. Large crowds of livestock attract wild and predatory wolf. Therefore, it is common to come across a gray wolf near farms. The wolf feeds on meat, so the average wolf needs 3 to 4.5 kilograms of meat a day. Wolves hoard their food. When satiated, the animal wolf buries the remaining pieces of meat. Wolves can do without food for more than two weeks. 
In summer, the wolf's diet includes plant foods, so in summer the wolf also eats fruits and berries. The wolf's hunting principles are very diverse. In winter, wolves hunt collectively on large ungulates. This type of hunting is used by wolves in the winter. The main advantage of wolf hunting in winter is the presence of snow cover, on which he easily moves. The snow makes it much harder for ungulates to get away from the wolf, a wild and predatory animal. Curiously, collective wolf hunting involves the distribution of duties, part of the pack participates in the pursuit of prey, and the other part cuts the path of prey. During hunting, the wolf's nose is the main advisor. It tells the wild predator where to look for prey. Wolves can smell even a small animal, which is a couple of kilometers away from them. It is with the help of their keen sense of smell that wolves can chase their prey along their tracks. The wolf hunts almost silently. The wolf's main weapon is its teeth. With its five centimeters long sharp fangs, the wolf holds and drags its prey, while with its other teeth it cuts its prey. Wolf teeth are not only a weapon, but also a defense, so their loss is fatal for an animal. Particularly large ungulates are killed by wolves, attacking as a pack, and attacking until their prey falls. The leader and his female wolf eat the prey by right, and they eat the best pieces of the carcass. A wolf hunts very carefully. Stealthily sneaking up on an animal, grabbing it by the throat and dropping it on the ground with a nimble jump. He can sit in an ambush for hours and wait for his prey for a whole day. Often, they can follow a herd of ungulates, predators do not give away their presence, but wait for a convenient moment to attack. Wolves are very cunning, they stop chasing, and let their prey go far ahead. When their prey slows down, the wolf attacks again. It is not uncommon for wolves to attack foxes. But most often they do not eat them. When attacking a herd of livestock, wolves can distract dogs. Part of the wolf pack attacks the dogs and the rest attacks the herd. Wolves are very good at navigating the terrain. Many packs use the same areas of territory to deaden their prey. When hunting rodents, the wolf jumps on its prey, presses it down with its paw and eats it. This hunting technique is common to wolves in summer. In summer, the pack splits up and predators live alone or in small groups. Wolves feed on a variety of animals using practiced hunting techniques. In summertime, the wolf mostly feeds on hares. But even with all the calculated moves and deft maneuvers in the hunt, it does not always end successfully. Wolf Cubs Birth of Cubs How does the pack raise wolf cubs? A wolf's den is a burrow where the wolf cubs are bred by the wolf. Wolves make their den in secluded places. The place must have a good overview. Often wolves use empty burrows of other animals as a den. Wolves breed annually in January-February, with their first breeding season coming at the age of two to three years. A wolf's gestation period is about two months. In the spring, wolf cubs are born in the den. Usually the female gives birth to four to eight wolf cubs. Wolf cubs are born deaf and blind, and for the first few days of their life, the wolf cubs are always around. They begin to see and hear at about 10 to 12 days of life. After three weeks, the wolf cubs come out of the den for the first time and start tasting meat at the same time. The whole pack takes part in raising and rearing the cubs. Wolves bring the best meat to the den with their cubs. Young wolf cubs have a grayish-brown color that changes with age. At the age of two months, the wolf cubs leave the den, but they still stay near the den. Such places are protected by vegetation from prying eyes. Wolf pups learn the basics of hunting, attacking shrews and mice. Wolf cubs grow quickly and their weight increases almost 30 times in the first four months. Newborn wolf cubs have blue eyes. At the age of eight months, the eyes of wolf cubs change to yellow. By the end of the first winter after birth, the cubs reach adult size. The wolf lives 12 to 15 years.
Do we need wolves and why? Why do we need wolves? Because for humans the wolf is the enemy. He is dangerous to humans and exterminates livestock. Gradually the struggle of people with wolves has led to a decrease in their numbers. But the wild predator wolf plays an important role in balancing the ecological system. Wolves are needed to regulate the population of large ungulates. Wolves are also a kind of sanitarians, because by killing sick animals, wolves do not allow diseases to spread. Hunting weak animals promotes the survival of the strongest. If you like this video and want to know more interesting things about animals, subscribe to our channel and get the latest and greatest news about the animal world first.